and welcome to Track Chat for the Ellerslie Christmas at the Races featuring, featuring Eagle Technology Race Day here tomorrow. Butcher, please tell us about what we've got to look forward to at tomorrow's race day. Yeah, good card of races tomorrow, headed up by the Eagle Technology Stakes at uh, Group 3 level under set weight and penalty conditions. Uh, this is a good race, Veyron heads it up, he comes into the race well under the conditions uh, with the Group 2 win counting in the last 18 months, he carries 57 kilos. Graphic, the Wellington Cup winner of last year, uh, again in with 57 kilos. And look, the uh, impressive of late Saki Soldier comes in on the male minimum with 55. I thought those three had fought it out, but I really did think this was Veyron's chance to uh, get back to form. All right, so the weather forecast was initially set for rain this week, but it seems it's been nothing but overcast and muggy. Can you tell us about the track at all? Yeah, Jason's had to irrigate this week. Uh, we've used 13 mils of irrigation. First time we've irrigated this season actually, so we've been lucky with uh, rain at the right time, but we did put a little bit of uh, irrigation on. We've got a little bit of rain this morning, Friday morning, only three or four mils at this stage, so that's probably done more good than harm to be honest. Looking at the forecast, I'd be surprised if there's much more rain. And Whilst the track with that little bit of rain to freshen it up today may come up as a dead four tomorrow morning, Saturday morning. I think by the time they race, it should be uh, nigh on a perfect surface if we get no more rain. All right, Butcher, we also have the listed Trevor Eagle Memorial Race. Can you tell us a little bit about what to expect in this yeah, one? This is the second year this race has been run at listed level. Look, it's been won in the last two seasons by Habibi and Rising Romance. So it really does uh, throw up a good horse this race. And I can't see it being any different tomorrow. There's some smart three-year-olds uh, going around, the likes of the old floozy Tavi, who was super impressive in winning her maiden race here on Melbourne Cup Day. Uh, look, uh, you can make a case for Ambitious Unicorn, who won super well on debut on New Zealand Trotting Cup Day at Awapuni. And Smartson Costa, I thought his win at Dargaville was very, very good. Look, don't discount the Dargaville form because Rising Romance came out of a Dargaville maiden win to win this race last year and we know that she went on to uh, place in a Caulfield Cup. Awesome and thanks so much for your tips Butch and we'll see you again before next weekend's Ellerslie Christmas at the Races. Look forward to it. Good punting tomorrow.